Namaste. My name is Nikhil and uh, I want to talk to you about uh, Asana mythology. Asana mythology has the aim to explain a little bit about what is behind the Asana names. Né? What is the meaning hidden behind the names? And the idea is that when we know what is hidden behind, we can enhance the quality of our yoga practice, of our asana practice. So, I will tell you the, the story about uh, Hanuman Asana, uh, that split. Uh, Hanuman Asana. So, Anjana was a beautiful woman, uh, and she desires to have a child, but somehow she didn't have a husband. Yeah? And she was praying to the gods every morning, every afternoon, and every night to that they give her a child. So Vayu, the god of the wind, he was so impressed by her, her devotion that he decided to give her a bone, a bone. And so he blessed three grains of rice, and with his bird friends. Uh, he sent the bird the rice to her. So she was there praying in Anjali Mudra. And when she saw the birds, she kind of knew that that was a blast. So she opened her mouth and the birds dropped the rice on her mouth. And by that, she got pregnant. Yeah, amazing, right? So, and from that uh, pregnancy, Anjanea was born. Yeah, a beautiful boy, yeah, a plastic human being, a half god, half mortal. Yeah. So he was really a strong boy. Yeah. And because he was a half god and a half uh, mortal, and that got him into quite some troubles because he could not really uh, control his urge. Yeah. One morning, he was lying in bed. Yeah. So through the window, he saw this big, giant mango floating on the sky. Yeah. So with, and so mango was his uh, his I say preferred preferred fruit. Yeah. So he he really loved mango, and he thought that the sun actually that was uh, uh, floating on the sky was a mango. So he took a leap. Yeah. And he went straight to have a big bite. Huh? But the Surya, the god son Surya, when he saw that, that troublemaker, that little boy coming to have a bite, he threw the thunder, yeah, a ray, and he hit the boy's jaw yeah, and killed him. Yeah, he killed the boy. So that created quite some troubles on the, on the realm of the gods. Yeah? Because when uh, Vayu, the god of the wind, knew that uh, his son was, was killed, he was very upset. So upset that he took an inhale, and that inhale was so deep, was so deep, that he took all the air of the, uh, the, the earth, yeah? that all the other creatures, he, they start to, to, to die because he could not, they could not breathe. So, and that creates a big thing, a big commotion on the realm, so that all the gods get together, got together, and tried to find a solution for it, yeah? So, Vayu didn't want to exhale, yeah? and this uh, god, the Surya, she didn't want that troublemaker uh, jumping around, because he was too dangerous. So, but finally, they reach an agreement, yeah? They would revive Anjanea, but they would give him another name, and they gave him Hanuman, Hanu for jaw in Sanskrit. Yeah? And they, they would take him out of his, the mother's care, and they would give him in the care of the King Sugriva, the monkey king. So he took also the form of the monkey, the appearance of a monkey, and was taken to care of that tribe. So uh, Hanuman, grow up to be a great warrior, a very powerful warrior. But they all, he was also blessed with 
short memory, not really blessed. No? He, was, he was giving short memory so that he could not remember his divinity. So, and someone who not remember his divinity cannot make a real troubles, right? So, uh, so he grew up into a great warrior. Yeah, in one day, he met Rama in the forest. Ram, the King Ram from the Ramayana. No? So they became great friends, inseparable friends. Yeah? One, one, where one goes, the other one went together. So they were really, really good, good friends, companions. Yeah? They trust each other like uh, brother and sister or brother and brother. Yeah? So that was not long after uh, the, the Asura Ravana, that was a Rakshasa, yeah? that they call also demons, the Asura and the demons, but it's not a demon, yeah? it is an Asura. It's just another type of, uh, of creature. Yeah? So Ravana, he loved uh, Sita, the, the wife of Rama, yeah? that she was really, really beautiful, and he was in love with her. And so he had for to kidnap, kidnap Sita and take her to Lanka. What today is Sri Lanka, uh, to his kingdom. Yeah? So he took her there yeah? and brought Rama Ram, into a war so that he was busy and he could not uh, rescue her. So Rama give Hanuman the task of going saving Sita and finding her and bring her back if possible. Otherwise, Rama would go after and pick her up. So, but he had to find her. So Hanuman didn't really know how he would do that, but he took off to the very south point of India. And he came there and he was the pair with the ocean, this huge amount of water. And he didn't know what to do, so he knelt down in this posture with Anjali Mudra and he prayed. So he turned himself into the faith. This posture is what gave, gave the, it's the original posture of Virasana. Yeah? So it's the hero posture. So when he was down praying, he, was, he turned into his faith to get power, to do a task, to, uh, to, to overcome his fear and his weakness, to jump over the sea, something that actually he already could do. Yeah? Because he was the son of the Vayu and he had uh, uh, divine powers. So just like us. Sometimes we forget that we have a divine part in us, so we, we think that we are weak né, to overcome some challenge in life. But when we turn to fate, we can get back that connection, so we can overcome our life dealings. Right? So, and so he did. Yeah? He got enough power, and he, in one leap, he stretched his legs over the sea, one leg, one leg stayed in India, the other leg uh, uh, reached Lanka in a big split, like Hanumanasana. Yeah? So Hanuman found Sita in the gardens of Ravana's palace. Yeah? So, and gave her the ring from Rama in a sign that he would come and rescue her. She gave him her hairpin in a sign that he had founded her. Yeah? And so it happened. Eventually Rama managed to bring the war into Ravana's country and uh, defeat him yeah? and rescue Sita. They came back into his kingdom, Rama's kingdom, and Rama gave a little party, a big party, a beautiful party for Hanuman in his homage because he had really uh, done a great job. So in, in, in gratitude, Rama gave uh, Hanuman a, a bracelet full of gem and precious stone. Yeah? And Hanuman looked at that and, said, and, and started to... And he even knocked at the ground yeah? 
and, and, and start to break it, and everybody was shocked with that reaction. Everybody didn't you know, what, what are you doing? Why are you not happy? He said, look, uh, Hanuman said, look, I, I, this thing has no meaning for me if in here is not the name of Brahma. Because this is all I do. I only change the name of Rama. Yeah? And I'm going to show you. And then he opened his heart. Yeah? And inside of his heart, there was Rama and Sita sitting there. And you could see all the fibers inside him was the Rama's names written on it. So he was constantly mentoring the name of Rama. And that he could, he would never forget the name of his best friend. He could forget everything else, but not that, because he had short memory. Remember. And that's all about when we turn into faith. Yeah, we can always remember our divinity. Yeah, we can always remember and the mantra, right? and that's where mantra comes in, as a tool for us to remember our divinity. So a mantra can always be a reminder to us. And when we mantering, and we mantra, and we mantra, and we mantra, and that starts to become our very body, our very vibe. And that's what Hanuman did. He became the very love for Rama. Namaste.